If you're new to budgeting and you don't know where to start, in this video, I'm going to be sharing how to create a basic monthly budget and stick around to the end because I have a really easy way for you to automate the process. Hey guys, welcome back to the Quicken YouTube channel. I'm your host, Justine. I'm a personal finance educator and enthusiast, and I love budgeting. In fact, it was the number one tool that helped me pay off $35,000 in student loan debt in two years, five months on a $37,000 income. Now, there are really two ways that you can budget. You can either budget by paycheck or you can budget by your monthly income. There's no right or wrong to which method you choose. If you choose to budget by paycheck, then you're going to see exactly how that paycheck is broken up for bills that are upcoming in between that paycheck and the next, and then what kind of uh, basic spending that you wanna be doing in between your next paycheck. When we are budgeting by month, we're taking a look at all of the bills and the spending inside of that 30-day window and seeing how we can move money around to achieve our goals. Now, I wanna hop over to my kitchen table to show you what this looks like on pen and paper. So, let's go. All right, to get started, started with your basic budget, what you're going to do is you're going to write down what your monthly or what your paycheck income is. This is your actual take home. I like to do things in a monthly budget, but you might want to do it by paycheck. So in this case, I put $4,000 and then you're going to list out the total monthly expenses, which we are going to find out here in just a second as we look at all of our expenses in the month. Then whatever your income is, is minus the expenses is going to be your net amount. Ideally, you'll wanna have this be as close to zero as possible. This is what we call a zero-based budget, where every dollar of income is designated to an expense or to savings. So as we're taking a look at this example, what I did is I started with any existing debt that you might have. So this could include a student loan of $230 every single month, a car loan of 420, a credit card, and right now I'm just putting the minimum amounts for every single debt, and then a second credit card of $150. So these are our known debts that we know we absolutely have to pay out of that $4,000 take home. Next, I'm going into our fixed expenses. These are all of the known things that we know we absolutely have to pay for every single month, including a mortgage. In this case, I put a $1,500 monthly mortgage plus any type of food of groceries expenses. And so here's where you're gonna start filling these out. So food would be groceries not restaurant spending, restaurant spending would go inside of fun, utilities, including things like water, trash, electricity, your internet or your cell phone bill, and then any car related expenses such as gas, car insurance, tags, registration, that sort of thing would go under car expenses. These are our fixed expenses. If you don't have a car, then you would be putting your monthly transportation such as a Metro ticket or Metro pass. The next category after all of your debts and your fixed expenses, are covered, then any money left over, I like to dedicate towards the fund section and then later on into savings. So fun could include things like restaurants, shopping, clothing, and entertainment. You can keep this granular or you can keep this as broad as you want to. Sometimes people just like to put whatever is left over after their bills and their fixed expenses have been paid into just a lump fun or self-care category. Towards the bottom, you'll wanna include things like savings for an emergency fund or a vacation fund, or perhaps you wanna do something like outside investing. And this is where you can start taking shape of your monthly budget. As you go through each of these categories, you wanna take note of what those expenses are on a monthly basis by adding them all up and then taking a look at, okay, do my expenses actually outweigh what I'm bringing in every single month? If so, then we've gotta make some adjustments to our budget to make sure that we're not overspending. If we have a negative amount, it means we're over spending. If we have a surplus, it means that we have cash that we can dedicate to either a financial goal or maybe add some more money to a food budget or a shopping budget so that you can make this as customized to your life as you want to. So that's a look at your basic monthly budget and how to put it together. If you can just keep it really high level by starting with your monthly income and then working through any existing monthly debt payments, your fixed and your fund payments, as well as making sure 
sure you put in room for your savings, this is going to get you started. All right, so now you've got the basics down. If you wanna automate your transactions and put together a really robust spending plan, because I know doing it on a sheet of paper can be a little overwhelming because it's such a manual process, then Quick and Simplify could very well be your solution. This is a budgeting app that can help you plan your spending accurately predict which bills are upcoming and help you get together a plan to reach your financial goals. Now, all you have to do is connect your financial accounts, including your bank account or a credit card account and see how your spending habits are taking shape. It gives you the real data in real time so that you can accurately budget for particular expenses. In fact, it could tell me exactly how much I was spending on purchases from Amazon every single month so that I could budget for that accordingly. Plus, you can break out your income for it to go towards bills and towards other planned spending like groceries or entertainment or shopping. And if you're anything like me and you have spending problem areas that you want to watch, you can create watch list for specific payees or categories to help you stay in control with your spending. If you want to check that out, you can use the link down in the description box below to get started. I know budgeting can transform your life. As I mentioned, before it helped me pay off a massive amount of debt in a very short amount of time. So let me know in the comments, are you prioritizing budgeting this year and how are you getting started? If you like this tutorial video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next one.